time for my useless crafters. So I know Mother's Day is coming up and so we see a lot of these t-shirts or subway tiles with the blanks and it has mom with the name of the names of the kids in the, within the word mom or within the word grandma. So or variations of that. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. I did it last year, but I'm, we're redoing it because we now have the offset feature. Um, what we're still waiting on though is the kerning feature, which means anytime that you see a cursive font, when you type it in, it's gonna automatically connect like we see on every other application. <laughs> so design space, design space, get it together. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna show you how to do this the way we've been seeing it. It's very popular. I know a lot of people love it. And then I'm gonna try something different. I don't know how it's gonna work out because I've yet to do it. So in my mind, I've got an idea. Let's see if we can come up with something just a little different. All right, so this font that everyone has seen is called I Love Glitter. It's free, it's on defont.com. It's a very safe website. I know a lot of people who use it, myself included. All right. So how do you get Lisa, Hart, John with the glyphs at the end, right? So I would say that this font is a little bit different because each one of these special characters, it actually has a corresponding um, like button on the keyboard. So like this swoosh right here is the square bracket, right? And then this straight line is the heart and then to, you know, your right, bracket is this one over here. As opposed to having to use some sort of font manager to get those PUA, um, the swishes, the glyphs, all the extra characters. So, <laughs> so um, let's ungroup this. Well, okay, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's type in the word mom. The word mom is Times New Roman. I made it really big so that we can see it, but also when I'm designing, when I'm not recording, I also make things really, really big because it's just easier for me to see and um, to see the details. And then at the end, as long as you make everything to like in um, respects to this original image, sorry, I'm losing my mind. It's Friday night. Um, as long as everything is you know, related to each other in size, um, we can resize it at the end. So, you know, especially when you're manually moving things, you wanna be able to see if they're connecting. It's just easier to see it big. So, all right, um, I'm gonna leave this up here for a second so that you can see how to type this little thing. And let me move this up a little bit more. Okay, so what you type on your keyboard is this. The square bracket, oh man, that's so weird. It lets you go up there even though you, okay. Um, the square bracket, that is to the right of the letter P and then you type Lisa. This line right here is to the left of the delete button um, or right underneath the backspace, in between backspace and enter, okay? Then John and then your square bracket this one is also above the enter key. All right, so you have this. A lot of people, what they do when they wanna move uh, cursive letters to closer together, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, they go to letter space and they decrease the size. And that works up to a certain extent. Let me make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. Where it doesn't work is and this is a good example here is, do you see the space between the letter A and the heart? It's minimal, right? But the space between this end and the J is much greater. So at some point, when I decrease this, my A and my heart, they're gonna be touching and a lot of other things will not be touching. So this only works up to a certain point. Um, Again, I don't recommend doing doing this inside design space. If you have a lot of letters, a lot of names, a lot of words, whatever, you wanna do it in some other application so that it's already connected and then you import it as an SVG file. So what I like to do, for instance, is I will go to Font Lab Pad and you know, like let's say this one, right? Um, 
I'm gonna do Lisa and oops and John I know it's not the same because it's not that same font but you see it's already connected and then what I would do is save as and save as an SVG file and then upload it as an image into design space but I'm gonna show you how to connect this so let's ungroup this at this point because well let's decrease this just a little bit more okay so now let's ungroup this we still need to move the eye in a little bit more so let's And even after you move all of this, you're not done. Just because they're connected doesn't mean that they're welded together. And the difference is you can't really see it right now in the black, but um, if you cut this out on vinyl or cardstock, for instance, or even HTV, but it depends on the material. Like if you did this in glitter HTV, you might not really notice that there are cut lines. But let me change some colors so that we can see what it actually looks like. So I'm gonna do purple. Okay, purple is actually really good. Um, and let me bring this to the front. So what happens is when you go to cut this, and if you don't weld it, then you see how the letter A, it cuts into the purple, it's underneath, right? So the A is gonna cut out all the way through. It's gonna cut through the purple right here. Then when they cut the purple vinyl, it's gonna cut through the A. And then it's gonna cut through the J. So this is not okay. What you wanna do is you wanna grab all of this and you wanna weld it. So it becomes one flowing piece. And you'll see that in a second. I'm gonna change the color and you'll see that it's one beautiful connected piece like you wouldn't lift you know your pencil at all okay so here's the word mom here's Lisa and John um, if you like it like this this size what you can do is um, well first let's get the offset I'm sorry I'm all over the place today um, so let's click on the the names and then go to offset so offset automatically defaults to 0.25, so a quarter of an inch. Um, you can either move the dial over here, left and right, this move, past this neutral sign, and over here you go into the negative, so that's internal, the 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 internal, this is neutral, this is zero, and then anything over is as, the more you go to the right, the bigger your offset's gonna be. Um, I prefer .15, and it's just, you know, a lot of stuff. So, so, here it is, in a second, in a second. All right, so if you like this, you wanna click apply so that your offset's there. Okay, so there's our offset. The offset is nice because when you bring it down here, you can, um, we're gonna slice it out. So it's thicker and you can see, you have to determine where you wanna put this. Um, like up high, down low, you know, where, wherever that fits, you know, personal preference. Then what I would do is I would grab the two and go to align and you wanna align center horizontally. Okay, it looks like we did it almost perfectly. And if you like this, then I would slice. So this makes it even. This is saying mom is right in the middle of Lisa, Hart, John. So then you wanna slice. So we're slicing out from the word mom. And so when we put this in there, it's a lot easier to read. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, so this we can get rid of. Grab all of this and delete. We're gonna put this back down and this goes in like that. See, it's easier to read Lisa and John with the offset. All right, so that's done, right? Let's try a different font and um, 
we'll do some of the glyphs, okay? So let's do the text. Let's go back and do mom. Oops. New Roman. Yeah. Times New Roman. <laughs> okay. It's it's a great night to video, right? <laughs> okay, let's type in mom. Oh, good Lord. Okay, so here's mom. We're going to redo it, but with a different font and see if we can come up with something equally nice, but different. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do this as if I'm doing it for myself. Okay, I'm gonna do my daughter's name. We're gonna go into Font Lab Pad and let's type in Charlotte. Oops, good if I spelled it correctly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so, and this is a good thing to show you, save as. And the other thing I like about using that is um, like Charlotte's name, it has two T's, right? So the two T's connect and I get one nice swoosh for the T going across. If you've noticed, I'll show you. Um, so let's see, let's type in Charlotte demo. Okay, um, let's go to upload it. Upload image, browse. And, oops. Charlotte demo, here we go. So I double clicked on it. Here it is, Charlotte demo, upload. All right, then you click on it and insert image. So I'm gonna show you how I get my little glyphs and swirlies and all that good stuff. So let me scroll down, oops, where did it go? Okay, I wanna make sure this is big so you can see it. I want to get some of those swishes from this um, from this font. So I'm going to go to main type. Main type is free, so just Google main type. I love it because all my fonts are here and all the extra little glyphs are available. So look at all these beautiful letters, right? Um, let's see. So here's the letter C, but I want the swoosh coming before the C. So this is the one I want. So I like that. I'm going to click. Control C, so copy, and then I'm gonna go into design space. In design space, you have to be in a text box, and the text box has to match the font that you're dropping in. So in this case, I need to change it to my favorite font, Hannah Berry Coo. And I'll show you where to get that if you like this one as well. I love this one because it gives you that whimsical look but it's not delicate. You see how like all the thin lines, the thin lines are still pretty thick. So it cuts beautifully, it weeds wonderfully. I love it. Okay, so now that I'm in Hannah Berry Coo with the text box, I'm now gonna hit Control V. So it drops in this square and my letter is gonna drop right there, perfect. So I'm gonna bring this down, I'm gonna match it in size so make it big, that's too big. Oh man, okay, um, just a little bit too big. That looks pretty good, right? Okay, so I'm gonna ungroup this. And I'm gonna delete this C and I'm just going to replace it with this C. Then I want the same thing with the E over here. So I'm gonna go back to main type and I'm gonna look, oh, and there's my E. So um, let's see if there's any other options. Um, no, I don't think that there is. So, okay, so let's go back to the E. I want it to extend. So, oh, here it is. So I'm gonna click on it. If you hover your mouse over it, 
Hmm, it's kind of slow today. I should be able to see it bigger, but it's not happening. So I'm gonna hit Control C. Let's go into Design Space and text box and control V and there's my E, perfect. Oh, and look at that. I did it almost on the first try. <laughs> so delete this E, put in this one. Okay, oh, whoa, okay. And remember, you have to grab everything and weld it. Okay, and then let's kind of size Charlotte down. Maybe something like that. All right, so let's do our offset. It's kind of big, but it's okay. So it will default to my last setting. I'm gonna keep that. I can click apply. Then I'm gonna take this and drop it in here and grab the two and slice. And okay. <laughs> Okay, so here's mom. Let me change the color just so that it's... Ooh, okay. Let's get rid of this. And then let's zoom out for a second. And very, I mean, you can see how easy it is to create it and change things up. You can change a different font for the background for, for the word mom. Um, you can make it much bigger. You can, at this point, resize everything. So, well, you wouldn't make it that big. <laughs> More like something like that. But hopefully that was helpful. Let me know what else you wanna see. You can do this for grandma. You can do all the names. Um, I've seen questions about, you know, what if you have five kids? Um, I would do it in two rows. I, you know, you can always stretch out the word mom. So for instance, let's go and just do this really quickly. Oh, and which reminds me, I need to show you. Oh gosh. All right, let me do mom real quick. I'll show you that font. Okay, so mom is dropping up here. Where is it? Okay. You can make this big, right? But you can also unlock it. Like let's say you, you're you stuck, you know you can go max. Your thing is 11 inches, right? So you can, click on this and click on your width to be 10 inches, but you can unlock it and stretch this out. It's still the word mom. That's the nice thing about the print is a lot of times when you stretch it out, it still is legible. That's still mom, it's still easy to read, but this gives you more room, a more thickness for you to put more names because when these things are so small, um, it's just hard to weed and you don't know if your machine's going to cut well. You need to make sure your everything is down on your mat really well and that your blade is clean. You know, there's a lot of factors and so you don't want to add on top of that super tiny fonts. That's just my opinion. <laughs> okay, I hope this was helpful. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day um, and I will see you next time. Bye!